Texas has a lot of hype going into this year, man. And I think that it's well warranted. I do think that Texas is probably going to most likely end up winning the Big 12. And I think that they have a strong chance of making it to the college football playoffs. But they have a big test in front of them, man. They got to go on the road to Tuscaloosa and play Alabama. And we all remember last year, Texas shocked a lot of people with them nearly beating Alabama. Alabama barely escaped Texas, winning 20 to 19. And Quinn Ewers, this fool was going absolutely crazy. And if he never were the guy injured, I strongly believe in my heart that Texas would have won that game. And there are a lot of Bama fans who say otherwise, but I feel if Quinn Ewers played that whole entire game from the first quarter to the final snap, Texas would have upset Alabama. But this year, though, they have an even more difficult task of beating Alabama because they have to do it on the road. And Alabama barely loses at home. And I've seen a lot of people pick Texas to beat Alabama this year. And I don't know if I'm ready to say that they will. At least right now, because you're asking Texas to do something that only a handful of teams have done over the past decade. Since Nick Saban has been a head coach at Alabama after his first season in 07, Alabama is like 95 and 8 at home. The last team to beat Alabama in Tuscaloosa was that championship-led team by quarterback Joe Burrow and LSU that beat Alabama at home in 2019. And then prior to that, they didn't lose at home for at least the last four years. The last team to beat Alabama at home prior to LSU doing it was Ole Miss back in 2015. So it is extremely tough to beat Alabama when they're playing at home. And if Texas is going to beat Alabama, you're basically telling me that Texas most likely is going to be amongst the best teams in college football because that's the kind of effort that it's going to take to knock off the Crimson Tide where they're defending their home field. But I do think that Texas is more than capable. Texas has a really talented offense. You got Quinn Ewers coming back. I believe that he's going to be in for a breakout season this year. His problem last year was more that he was inconsistent at times with his accuracy and his decision making. But when he was on, he was on. He has arguably the best receiving core in all of college football. A.D. Mitchell transfers from Georgia. You got Xavier Worthy, one of the best receivers in college football. Isaiah Neighbor was a really highly touted transfer for Texas when he was coming from Wyoming, but we didn't get to see him play last year because he suffered an injury before the season started. You got Jordan Winnington, and I'm really excited to see how this Texas receiving core is going to fare against Alabama secondary, which many Tide fans feel like this is going to be one of the better secondaries that Nick Saban has had in recent memory. And overall, Alabama's defense should be really good this year. And Texas, this offense and Steve Sarkeesian, they're going to have a very good test really early this season. But Alabama also is going to get tested as well. And the large reason why I think many people feel Texas is going to be able to beat Alabama this year is due to the uncertainty that they're walking into this year at the quarterback position. You don't know who's going to start. It could be Jalen Milrow. It could be Ty Simpson or Notre Dame transfer Tyler Buckner. And even then, if Alabama comes into this game with their QB1, we don't know if that's going to be the guy who finishes off this game. So for Alabama, their concerns at quarterback are going to kind of be answered with how this game plays out. And the best time to upset a team like Alabama is early into the year because early into the college football seasons where a lot of teams kind of can come out a little bit flat, a little bit rusty. And this is probably the best team that Alabama has had to play to open the college football season. 
Texas, I think, is really going to be able to live up to the hype. I don't know if they're going to be good enough to make it to the college football playoffs this year. I think they can, but I do think they should at least be in the conversation to make it to a New Year's Six Bowl game. This Texas team, I don't think they're all hyped this year. I think that the hype is definitely warranted, and I think that this is going to be the first time in forever that the Longhorns will actually be able to live up to expectation. But you look at Alabama's defense, you got Dallas Turner, and the secondary, you got Kool-Aid McKinstry, who is right now projected to be the first cornerback taken in next year's draft. I hope that we get to see him guarding Xavier Worthy 101. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. You got defensive back Malachi Moore. There's a lot of talent on this Alabama defense, especially in the secondary. But if Texas is going to be able to beat Alabama, you're asking them to play one of the best games that they're going to play for the whole entire season, man. Because it's one thing to almost come up close of beating Alabama when you're playing them on your home field. We saw that Alabama's two losses last year both came on the road to last second scores. LSU had that miraculous two-point conversion that beat Alabama, and then they lost to Tennessee due to a late-game field goal. So if you're going to knock off Alabama when they're defending their home turf, you have to play your best football, and you got to play one of the best games ever. And for Quinn Ewers, is this going to be his coming out party? We saw what he did last year against Alabama, but that was last year. This could really be the game that kind of cements Quinn Ewers in the eyes of Texas fans of being that guy for them at quarterback this season. He was the highest rated QB ever when he was coming out of high school, or one of the highest. So this man has a lot of fight. He has a lot of talent. And this is going to be the game for him to come out and prove himself. And for Alabama, if you lose this game, think about what the narrative is going to be. Oh, man, Alabama lost to Texas. Maybe Alabama truly is falling off, which we're about to talk about a little bit later. But if Texas loses to Alabama... Then the narrative is going to be, oh man, Texas was overhyped like always. Because there are a good amount of people out there. I don't know if a lot of you guys keep up with it, but there are more people than not who expect Texas to beat Alabama this year, man. And I can definitely see it. I really can't give y'all a prediction. I know you may be disappointed. You may be saying, JT, just give us an effing prediction, man. Just go ahead. I really can't. I got to see more of how this quarterback situation is going to play out for Alabama as we near fall camp. It's just way too early for me to give y'all a prediction. But right now, though, I still kind of lean Alabama 55 to 50%. And the reason why I'm still leaning Alabama is because they're playing at home. You're asking Texas to do something that not too many teams have been able to do in years. You got to be a damn good team to knock off Alabama at home. Not just anybody is able to beat Alabama when they're playing at home in Tuscaloosa. It's really hard to accomplish that. And I'm not saying that I don't think Texas has a chance. Like I said, I'm 55-50 on this. I think there's a 50% chance that Texas can win. And I think there's a 55% chance that Alabama wins this game. And largely the reason why I still kind of lean Bama, at least for right now, we're in June. It's June 21st at the time this is being recorded. is simply due to the fact that it's hard to knock off Bama when they're playing at home. But Texas does have the talent, though. I really do think that this is the squad that Texas is actually going to be able to have more success than they have in the past decade with, man. This is a really talented team, but you're asking a lot out of a team, any team, to knock off Alabama at home. Even some of the best teams in college football haven't been able to beat Alabama at home. So if Texas is able to beat Alabama, I'm pretty sure that the Texas hype is going to be at a all-time high, at least higher than what it has been in recent years. And for Alabama, if they lose this game, I think you're going to have a lot of the Alabama doubters chirping really loud.
And that leads me to my next segment, 